This is our last um, balancing redox reaction example on slide 17 of our chapter 20 part 1 PowerPoint. And here we're going to add the additional component that we need to balance this equation in a basic solution. So the steps are pretty much the same. Um, we just have to add one other extra component. Basically when we produce H plus we have to balance that by adding um, hydroxide OH minus ions. So first steps are the same. We're going to assign oxidation states to everything and determine what's oxidized and what's reduced. So um, my reaction is written on the slide here. So I minus obviously has a minus one and this is I here. I'll make that a little more clear on the slide. So one minus is the charge because it has a minus one charge. Um, oxygen is minus two in this compound, MnO4 minus. We did this one previously. So the oxidation state of manganese is plus seven. I2 aqueous by itself, no charge, therefore zero oxidation state. And then oxygen in the second manganese containing compound is also minus two. If I have four of them, they contribute an overall minus four charge, therefore making manganese have to be plus four to balance that. So for my um, reduction, it's going to be manganese going from plus seven to negative four. That's my reduction half reaction. And for my oxidation, it's iodine going from negative one. Oops. There you go. Negative one to zero. It's getting more positive. So therefore that's an oxidation. So now step two is going to be to separate these into their half reactions. So for oxidation, it's going to be I minus to produce I2. Now, one thing that can get a little tricky with these is notice that I have one iodine on the reactant side and two on the product side. So I need to have equal amounts of both elements. So before I even start trying to balance electrons, other components, I'm going to put a two in front of my I minus so that my elements are balanced. And this is also going to make a difference when we start counting up electrons. If we're going from negative one to zero, technically one electron is transferred, but since I have two iodines, it's gonna be a total of minus, um, or sorry, a total of two electrons transferred. And we'll go over that when I get to that step in the balancing. So then reduction is gonna be MnO4 minus gives you Mn two. <laughs> so that's step two. Step three I'm going to do on another slide. Um, so I'm going to rewrite, let's see, my oxidation. I minus two I minus gives you I two and my reduction is going to be MnO4 minus gives you MnO2. So remember the third step is when we balance oxygen and hydrogen. So to balance oxygen, add H2O. Oops. And to balance H, we add H plus. And the extra step that we have to do because this is basic is we have to basically neutralize any H plus that we make by adding OH minus. So for our oxidation half reaction, 
we don't have to do anything. There's no oxygens, there's no hydrogens. So it's still just two I minus gives you I two. For my reduction, it's gonna be MnO4. Now notice I have four oxygens on my reactant side, two on my product side. So I'm going to add MnO2. In order to balance my oxygens, I'm gonna add two waters because I already have two oxygens from the MnO2. If I add two waters, that's gonna give me a total of four on this side. So now my oxygens are balanced. I have four oxygens on the reactant side, four on the product. And now that I've added H2O, I've added H into the mix. So now I need to balance those by adding H plus to the other side. So two H2O gives me Two times H2 gives me four H plus ions. So four H plus. Now in a normal reaction, this would be, we would be done with step three, we would move on to electron counting. But because the instructions said that we are having this redox reaction occur in a basic solution, we have to neutralize any of the H plus ions that we made by adding OH minus um, to neutralize it. So we're going to rewrite this reduction. To neutralize the H plus, we add enough OH minuses to completely negate it. So here we have 4 H plus to neutralize it. And by neutralize, I mean combine with H plus and OH to make water. We need to add four OH minus to the reactant side. And whatever we add to the reactant side, we also have to add to the product side. So my new half reaction is going to become MnO4 minus plus 4H plus plus 4 OH minus gives you MnO2 plus 2, I'm having a little connectivity issue, there you go, 2H2O plus 4OH minus, because whatever we do to the reactant side, we have to do to the product side. Now we're not quite done with this, once we add the OH minus, this H plus and this OH minus, those are going to combine. H plus OH gives you H2O. And if we have four of each, it's going to make four H2O. So therefore, our half reaction would become MnO4 minus plus four H2O gives you MnO2 plus 2H2O plus 4OH. So in this particular step, this is my oxidation half reaction, and this is my um, reduction half reaction. All right, so the next step, step four, is to incorporate our electrons. So if we're going <clears throat> in my oxidation, if I'm going from um, negative 1 to 0, I'm adding one electron. But because I have two of the iodines, I am technically um, have two electrons I'm dealing with. And since this is oxidation, I'm going to add the electrons to my product side. So the two electrons comes from the fact that I have even though I'm going from negative one to zero, I'm doing it twice because I have two iodines. For my reduction, remember MnO4 is plus seven and MnO2, the manganese, is plus four. So that's a total of three electrons transferred. So therefore, on my reactant side, because this is a reduction, 
I'm going to have three electrons. So now our next step is to look and see how much of each electrons we have and to balance them with regards to one another. So I have two electrons in my um, reaction, my oxidation half reaction, three electrons in my reduction. Therefore, to get equal numbers, that's going to be six. So I'm going to multiply my first reaction by three. And my second reaction, I'm going to multiply by two. Therefore, giving me oxidation of six. I minus produces three I two plus six electrons. And in my reduction, it's going to be six electrons plus two MnO four minus plus eight H two O gives you two MnO two plus Four H two O plus eight O H minus. Um, so that is steps um, four and then steps five. Step six is going to be to add these two reactions together. So my electrons, if I've done this correctly, six and six will cancel. And then I also, in the bottom equation, I have eight waters as a reactant and four waters as a product. So those four waters are going to cancel, and I'm going to be left with four waters on my reactant side. So therefore, my final um, equation is going to be 6i minus. I'm going to write small so I can try and get this all on one line. Plus 2MnO4 minus plus 4H2O gives me 3I2. And that's not aqueous. I believe it's a solid. Oh no, they have it written as aqueous. Apologize. Plus 2MnO2, which is a solid. There we go. Plus 8OH minus. I had a little room left over, so I could have written a little bigger. Um, but that should be your final answer. Let's go ahead and make sure the charges um, balance. So I have minus 6 from that iodine, minus 2 from that um, MnO4, so that gives me a total of minus 8 on this side. And then over here I have minus 8 from my hydroxide and that's it. So minus 8, minus 8, they balance and all my elements balance, so therefore that is your final balanced equation. And that is how you balance a redox equation in a basic solution.